There is a golden eagle, which is a royal Air Force war memorial for all of the airmen and women who lost their lives. Just observation will ever built. Today is the third. The golden jubilee football quakes built for our Queen's 50th year on the front. I would like to wave to the people on the bridge as it keeps their hands busy, stops them throwing stuff at you. <laughs> Which they often do like to do. I'm not joking. We had a kid yesterday pouring, what was it? An orange fizzy drink over everybody. So we called the police, but by the time the police figure out what's going on, they run off. It was given to us as a gift. About 200 years ago, bridge, named after the famous Battle of Waterloo. But we call it the Ladies Bridge because it was built by women in the Second World War. Our men were away fighting for king and country. The ladies they built one is the Olivier. And that was named after Laurence Olivier, the founder of our National Theatre. Coming up on the right, we have a tall tower block. It's the offices and film studios for ITV on the right. As the tide is now dropping, the beach is now revealed. At high tide, it's all covered, of course. The sand falls out of the water. There's lots of mud in the Thames, but there's also plenty of sand. We'll see a fantastic picture of St. Paul's Cathedral. Said by most as to be Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece. It took Wren 35 years of his life to build St Paul's. And it was complete for being expelled. He got into trouble. He got into one too many fights. Eh? Don't sound like church at all, don't it? The bridge is here, Blackfriars, built during the reign of Queen Victoria. The first the road bridge, the last, the rail bridge. The red columns were once a bridge. The top part became unsafe, had to be taken away. Look at the columns closest to the last bridge and they've built onto it to make this bridge wider. They've made it bigger. The project lasted for almost five years and it cost over 600 million pounds to make the bridge wider and to also build a station on the bridge itself. They built a roof which is so The only problem is getting up there. There's no lift. Over 500 steps. I had a bit of a mission to side on this opening day. There were so many people walking over the bridge, it was the footsteps. footsteps. There are steps coming up on the right. Of no use today. Years ago, people would have waited on these stairs for a boat to ferry them across the river. We haven't always had bridges on the river, folks. So before we had all these bridges, people would have been ferried across. Next year, they'll be 400 years old. The anchor touched. Mentioned in many books by Charles Dickens and also wrote about it in the Samuel Pepys Diary, the Pepys Diary, a very famous diary. The warehouses to the right are now lit of a real life pirate ship, captained by a real life pirate, Sir Francis Drake. Now, technically, name carved from the stone London Bridge and coming up on the right as well. Makes for a nice little picture. This is our new London Bridge and it was built in 1973. The old London Bridge was sinking. We took it down. Does anybody know where it is today? Arizona. Can you hear me, folks? Arizona. 
America. I tell people this, right, and they look at me and they start laughing at like, And the Wolf Shipyard. The same shipyard also built the ill-fated Titanic. She's now part of the Imperial War Museum. She's open to the public, and it'll be a great day to visit the Belfast. It has been 70 years to the day that D-Day happened, which was pretty much the end of the Second World War. After five years, say, D-Day was...